Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 5 disadvantages in the iQOO 9 SE device. Yes friends, I have been using this device for the past 50 days of time as well and today I'm getting plenty of comments on this particular topic as well regarding the what are the problems did I face during these 50 days of time and is the issue got fixed or not in the iQOO 9 SE device. The main reason is because in the beginning of exactly one month back, I uploaded the video on the iQOO 9 SE demonstrating the top 5 disadvantages as you can clearly see friends, exactly one month ago I uploaded and today I'm going to exactly mention those disadvantages got fixed or not. So let me do be pretty clear that these disadvantages can be more important for some users and less important for other users. So my duty is to share the information exactly for you all. What's going on in this device and you should definitely know all these things before you buy the smartphone. So right now there's a sale going on in the Amazon website for 30,000 rupees. So 3,000 rupees bank offer, 1,000 rupees coupon offer, so overall 4,000 rupees discount. So for 30,000 rupees, lot of viewers are actually thinking of buying this device and this video might be really helpful for you. So I'm like this only friends, in every phone I'll try to treat the same way and every phone has its own advantages and disadvantages. So you should know both things before you buy the device because that's really very important. So if you just type in the YouTube search bar top 5 disadvantages SciTech Guru, you can get all my videos what I uploaded on individual smartphone, every phone. So the first disadvantage what I noticed in this iQOO 9 SE device is regarding the game frame interpolation yes exactly so right now the icon and sa and icon 9 device they do have the special option which is called the game frame interpolation right now these are the games are actually supported and there is no call of duty game which is supported at this moment unfortunately but which is actually working in the iq7 device iq7 i can play the call of duty game with the game frame but not here that's not the problem the problem is that if you use this game frame interpolation while playing battlegrounds mobile game there will be lag exactly the touch delay will be there and just Essential issues also will be there in this icon and AC device till the problem did not get fixed even after 50 days of time as well as you can see game frame interpolation call of duty is supported in the iq7 device but not in this device i'm not sure why this kind of inconsistency is there regarding the software anyway so if you don't use game frame interpolation there will not be any lag so you can play it 60 fps but if you use if you want 90 fps then you need to enable that by enabling this there will be some problems with the playing as well gameplay experience so touch lag and gyro issues will be there in the icon and device still that problem did not get fixed even after 50 days of using this device as well even i did receive a couple of updates in this phone and this is my telegram group channel for the icon and sc device there i'll be uh, posting all the details about the icon and sc so make sure to check out the telegram group for more information as well so till now i did not receive any updates which fixing this kind of game frame interpolation and second thing to do with the display segment which is regarding the flickering thing so this is not a big issue the main reason is because the flickering will happen in the low brightness mode okay but if you want to avoid this kind of flickering try to use the dark mode in dark mode you cannot get any flickering okay that's one method of doing that and next is to use the application which is called the pwm application which is present pwm free this apk i have provided in my channel you can actually download this apk from the icon and sc group and once you download and install this application this application will also give you the really good effects i mean in terms of not allowing any flickering even in the low brightness there will be no flickering effect as you can see so this is just a software thing which the iq still did not give any update in this icon and sc whereas the iq7 device for example in the iq7 device there is flickering option which is present inside the display with the update they have updated in the iq7 device let me show you as you can see friends flickering option but there is no option in this phone in the icon and sc device still the option is not integrated into the display maybe with the future updates they might give us otherwise not but i'm not sure but in iq7 device same brand there is an option. So without this, there will be flickering. As you can see, with this, there is no flickering. In the Realme smartphones, in the Realme phones, they do have the DC dimming option. In the Realme smartphones, most of the mobile phones, DC dimming. So that also helps uh, to pre prevent this kind of flickering happening. But in the Icon and Assist, still there is no update to fix this thing. So temporarily, there is a solution. You can actually install and you can actually avoid that. So I'm just trying to give you the problem and solution both together. So that's how it is. And next disadvantage is something to do with the performance as well, which is regarding the Call of Duty and the Free Fire. 
exactly yes so there has been some kind of lag i mean the game is actually playing at 30 fps so you can actually feel the difference while gaming call of duty in the icon and sc device still that problem did not get fixed so all the disadvantages what i'm trying to mention these are the practical after using for 50 days all i'm trying to mention friends i'm not against this icon and sa or any other company so don't get in that way but i'm just trying to show you the facts what's going on call of duty yes there's still this problem is going on 30 fps only it's working at this moment if you try to play the game you can definitely notice that kind of lag and like you can definitely feel that that is not the call of duty i would say because there's no issues in the realme phones like realme gt2 and realme gt neo 2 realme x and max 60 fps it's working 100 percent fine but when it comes to the icon and sc there is a problem so that's something i could need to fix it in the icon and sc as soon as possible even the icon 9 also has got same kind of problem even the few users reported the free fire game also having issues these are the comments i'm getting friends cannot play free fire in the icon and sc the main reason is because the game is playing at 30 fps free fire game and the call of duty game i'll let me show you other comments as well as you can see, friends, these are the comments I'm getting. Can you please check Call of Duty Mobile lag in the Icon and SE and Icon 9 device again after the update? So, so many comments I'm getting, friends. That's what I'm trying to mention clearly. I do have all the proofs. So, without proof, I won't be talking anything. So, yes, there is some kind of lag going on in the Call of Duty and Free Fire game in the Icon 9 SE device. And the, another disadvantage about this smartphone is about the loudspeaker. So, loudspeaker is not that uh, loud. So, when it comes to this device. So, when you compare with the Poco F3 GT and Real me gt neo 2 realme x and max other devices the loudspeaker feels slightly kind of less and this is not coming from even from few of the subscribers also mentioned the same thing i'll try to show you the comment which are taken just today as you can see so most of the users they do agree with this kind of thing it's uh, very low and not clear at all at some times during the phone calls so loudspeaker sometimes it's not that clear I, I mean it's kind of okay it's decent but it's not like super super wall type of loudspeaker it's not that too loud you can watch my loudspeaker composition in every video the icon and sc will be scoring slightly less points than the other smartphones that's something to do even the aptic feedback still ico did not fix i mean it's kind of decent guys it's kind of okay but it's not that strong like ico 7 has got really very strong aptic feedback I like Till now, this is my favorite aptic feedback. The IQ7 smartphone. Like, very strong. Oh my god, like, very strong. I can actually feel very, very good tactile feeling as well. So, that's something the IQ need to figure out. Still, the problem did not get fixed in the IQ and SC device overall in terms of the aptic feedback. Still, it's kind of less. But while gaming, it's kind of okay. I would say, while gaming, when you're trying to game 4D vibrations, it's kind of okay. But when, while typing, it's not that strong. Even if you try to change the settings of the vibration and everything, still, it doesn't work. So that's something to be noted regarding the haptic feedback. And one more thing, another thing is about that touch sampling rate. So till the till now, the touch sampling rate has not been fixed in the icon and SE. So the main thing is that the touch sampling rate, I'm getting less values in the icon and SE for some reasons. I'm not sure why, but uh, right now the touch sampling rate value, as you can see, is we're getting about 240, 235, and 240. These are touch sampling rate application to uh, measure. What are the value you are getting? You need to do the minus with the refresh rate. So 240 minus 120, 120 years touch sampling rate we are getting. So you might be thinking there's some problem with the application that's completely wrong. So it's not problem with the application. I'll like to show you the same application in the iQ7 device. Same application. I'm trying to open and here the value we are getting about 420. Try to observe 420. So 420 minus 120. 300 touch sampling rate which is perfectly all right in the iQ7 device but in the iQ9 SC device the touch sampling rate is slightly kind of different I'm not sure maybe because of this touch lag problems in the game frame interpolation or maybe I'm not sure what's going on but there is this problem is going on in the iQ9 SC device in terms of the touch sampling rate so all friends these are my top five disadvantages so where I'm trying to mention to you all so I'm trying to be very transparent friends regarding every phone as much as possible I'm just trying to show you the advantages and disadvantages before you actually buy the device try to think twice like always think about it all the disadvantages so i cannot guarantee anything if you comment saying that can this be fixed with the software updates i cannot guarantee that friends so no one can guarantee regarding the software updates in the future so please think about this one before you actually buy any smartphone not only this device even i did do top five disadvantages in the realme gt2 as well realme gt neo 2 iq7 device every phone has its own advantages and disadvantages so meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching i'll instead for more updates 
until then signing off if any of the problem gets fixed i'll definitely update you guys regarding the icon and see what's going on meanwhile signing off until then stay tuned for more videos and bye